This is the Christmas story of the birth of Jesus from Luke chapter 2, out of the message. About that time, Caesar Augustus ordered a census be taken throughout the empire. This was the first census when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone had to travel to his own ancestral hometown to be encountered for. So Joseph went from the Galilean town of Nazareth up to Bethlehem in Judah, David's town, for the census. As a descendant of David, he had to go there. He went with Mary, his fiancée, who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the hostel. There were sheep herders camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over their sheep, and suddenly the angel stood among them and God's glory blazed around them, and they were terrified. The angel said, Don't be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A Savior has just been born in Davidstown, a Savior who is Messiah and Master. This is what you are to look for a baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. At once the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights, peace to all men and women on earth who please him. As the angel choir withdrew into heaven, the sheep herders talked it over. Let's get over to Bethlehem as fast as we can to see for ourselves what God has revealed to us. They left running and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Seeing was believing. They told everyone they met what the angels had said about this child. All who heard the sheep herders were impressed. Mary kept all these things to herself, holding them dear and deep within herself. The sheep herders returned and let loose, glorifying and praising God for everything that they had heard and seen. It turned out exactly the way they had been told. When the eighth day arrived, the day of circumcision, the child was named Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived. Then when the days stipulated by Moses for purification were complete, they took him up to Jerusalem to offer him to God as commanded in God's law. Every male who opens the womb shall be a holy offering to God and also to sacrifice the pair of doves or the two young pigeons prescribed in God's law. In Jerusalem at that time, there was a man, Simeon by name, the good man, a man who lived in the prayerful expectancy of help for Israel, and the Holy Spirit was on him. The Holy Spirit had shown him that he would see the Messiah of God before he died. Led by the Spirit, he entered the temple, as the parents of the child Jesus brought him in to carry out the rituals of the law, Simeon took him into his arms and blessed God. God, you cannot release your servant. Release me in peace as you promised. With my own eyes I've seen your salvation. It's now out in the open for everyone to see, a God revealing light to the non-Jewish nations and of glory 